Now what if we took a more mathematical approach? For this you will need to have basic understanding of current and voltage, but also about Ohm's law and the laws of Kirchhoff. Again, the rule applies that when negative feedback is used, the op-amp will try its best to keep the inputs at the same voltage. We have an inverting amplifier topology with feedback resistor RF, input resistor R1 and input voltage V in. The virtual ground will be labeled V0. The current through R1 is called I1, the current through the feedback resistor is called IF. Kirchhoff's current rule says that all current entering a node has to leave that node. Current can just disappear. It can also not enter the open via the inverting input because it has a very big, almost infinite impedance. So I1 has to be equal to IF. Now let's use Ohm's law to turn this equation into an equation that includes the input and output voltage. I1 will be equal to V in minus V0 over R1. IF will be equal to V0 minus V out over RF. We already concluded that V0 is our virtual ground, so it must be at 0 volts. This simplifies the equation to V in over R1 equals negative V out over RF. Now the transfer function or gain of this circuit is equal to the output voltage over the input voltage. With a bit of algebra, the formula can now be rearranged to V out over V in equals negative RF over R1. And this is exactly the formula for the gain of an inverting amplifier.